Hey guys, Elpaka77 here and welcome to another Silver Player Review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Man of the Match, Orange Sanguini. I didn't actually intend to review him when he first came out into packs for that day, I think it was. But I did notice that a lot of you guys did ask for a review, so here's the review for you guys. So Man of the Match Sanguini is the first and only current Man of the Match Silver card. He is a South African centre-back that plays in the South African League for Orlando Pirates. He has two star skill moves and three star weaker foot on the Xbox, goes for about 240k and on the PS3 about 170k. Mainly that high in price because he was very very rare, only out for a day and obviously he is the first silver orange card. So if you're interested in the team I use him in, here is the team. You would have seen it yesterday if you saw my video. There will be a link to that at the end of the video and probably in the description as well. So you'll be able to see the team that I'm using him in. It's a really nice hybrid. It's a really solid team and he's a great centre back there. So if you're interested in his card stats as well, 71 pace, 78 defence and 79 heading. Some really solid stats there for a silver centre back. So we can take a look at his in-game stats and he's 6 foot. He is right footed, has medium attacking work rate and high defensive work rates. That's really nice there. 3 star weaker foot and 2 star skill moves. He also has no player traits. In the physical attributes he has 76 acceleration which means his sprint speed is goes down to 71 but still that's nice for a silver centre back. 80 jumping and 82 strength as well. In the mental attributes or the mental stats he has 80 aggression and 76 interceptions which again is really nice for a silver centre back. And lastly, there's his skill attributes. There are a few nice hidden stats here. 68 ball control, 65 dribbling, 80 heading accuracy. 79 long passing, 76 long shots, which are also quite nice. 88 marking, 88 shot power, which is one of those hidden stats. 69 sliding tackle and 90 standing tackle. So when it comes to gameplay for reviewing defenders, I'm never really sure what to show you. So I just showed a few goals, nice headers from corners, a few interceptions, a few tackles, headers, stuff like that. So you get a taste of what Sanguini is like in game. As for things I like about him, he's 71 sprint speed and 76 acceleration in game. Does feel really nice, nice and fast. Can often keep up or catch up with attackers unless they're the really, really fast strikers like the Pro League Shite and Syriac players at that. He won't be able to keep up with them, but the rest of them he can. Wins pretty much every single header, whether it's from a corner, whether it's from a goal kick, straight down to him. Wins pretty much every header. Also has amazing positioning. He's got 88 marking and decent interceptions, so pretty much he's always in the right place at the right time. Ace 2 strength, that's really nice as well. He's not the tallest at 6 foot for a centre back. I mean, 6 foot is still quite tall. But for a centre back, you're usually looking at sort of six foot two, six foot four. They're usually the best centre backs. But he is nice, and also it's tackling 90 stand tackle. That is very, very noticeable in game. Wins tackles with ease. He's also got the 88 shot power, but you don't really notice that to be honest. As for negatives, he doesn't really seem too different to the normal cards. Sadly, if you're going to pay sort of 240k for a centre back, especially on the Xbox, you'd probably be looking for a player that's been given a massive upgrade, especially as he's a centre back. A player that you'd actually notice a difference with, but to be honest, if you stuck in his normal card, you probably won't wouldn't notice too much of a difference. So we'll go on to overall thoughts, and I know this review is slightly shorter than usual, but he's a centre back, and there's not as much to talk about as strikers. But the overall thoughts should give you a taste of what he's like. Positives: very strong, he's fast, wins most headers, he has great stand tackling, and he does score a lot, especially from corners. Didn't score any long shots with his fake shooting, the 88 shot pattern, 76 long shots, but they did go on target when I tried. Negatives though, expensive due to his rarity and he feels like the normal version to be honest and he is fairly small. Six foot's not too small but it's smaller than I'd usually like on my silver centre backs. Lastly, as for is he's worth it, to be honest, I've already said this, if you stuck in the normal version you probably wouldn't notice too much of a difference but if you do have a lot of coins he is going to be very good for your silver collections as he is going to be very very rare because he is that orange man of the match card. So thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this review of Inform Man of the Match Sanguini. I don't know if it's the first one on YouTube, people have probably shied away from him because he's a centre back. But I do like to get out the occasional defender review as they're quite different to the usual strike reviews. They're a bit shorter because there's not as much gameplay to get hold to show you and there's not as much to talk about. But yeah, it's still hopefully going to be a nice review for you guys if you're deciding whether to go and buy him. So if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give this a like and thanks for watching guys. Cheers.